guys, Mark here with another fragrance review, this time on the designer house of Paco Rabanne. This guy right here, a little known gem, of course, uh, really an exclusive on YouTube actually. I love doing exclusive, yes. Um, this one called Paco Rabanne Pur Homme Oh, um, this is actually a flanker from the 1970s uh, fragrance from Paco Rabanne called Pur Homme. This one is, is basically it's a fresh little brother. Now this one's actually discontinued from the House of Paco Rabanne, so this is one of those fragrances I really like reviewing discontinued fragrances like this, kind of uh, getting you guys into fragrances that really aren't sold in stores anymore, uh, something that might be a hidden gem, you never know, and Paco Rabanne's getting a lot of love lately, uh, of course, and a lot of hate um, in the fragrance community, so it's, it's nice to review something that's not really known. So let's get to it, let's take a look at presentation for O. Oh. Alright guys, let's take a look at presentation for Paco Rabanne Pur Homme O Edition. And here's the box guys, uh, the box of course this is all embossed right here, uh, Paco Rabanne, all that. There's that Rabanne logo right there. Some information in the back here, you got your batch code uh, right down here. Stereotypical box, nothing unique right here. Now let's take a look at the bottle. Now the bottle is, is shaped from the 70s model of Paco Rabanne Pur Homme. They had the green bottle for the original. For the O, you got the clear bottle, as you can see here. This is all embossed, by the way. Um, you got uh, the sprayer right here, and you got your sticker at the bottom. Sprayer is really a uh, thick mist, guys. This one uh, mists quite a bit, actually. Um, so less sprays is better for O. Let's take a look at bottle sizes for O. It comes in the standards, 1.7, 3.4 ounce bottles. This guy right here is actually the 3.4 ounce bottle. Um, you're looking at retail pricing, it used to be for $40 to $80 American. Um, you can shop online, I believe some discounters still have this available. Um, definitely try to get a good price on this fragrance. I see it online now, discontinued fragrances of course. Um, they jack up the price depending on demand. I saw this as high as $120 to $125 American to purchase it. So do your research before purchasing this fragrance. I don't think it's worth $100 plus dollars, in my opinion. Now this one hit the shelves in 2002, so it really had a short lifetime in the Paco Rabanne stable. Um, recently discontinued, of course. Awards, has it been in any, any of my top 20 lists? Not as of yet. Group, this is a fresh fougade or an aromatic fougade. Perfumier, this guy's an all-star perfumier, Mr. Olivier Cresp. Recommended age, um, this fragrance, really this is a light green herbal uh, fragrance. I really think this is almost for anybody. Um, recommended age for me, I would, I would really think this is 20 and up to be honest with you guys. I really don't think teenagers, you guys will search high and low to get this fragrance online. Um, don't really bother to be honest with you guys. Um, you guys can get some great juice. Um, that's still available. Now, how many sprays and where? This one, I kind of swim in it. I, I go five five sprays with this one. Um, one on the chest, two on the neck, of course, uh, right behind my ears, and two on the arms on uh, pulse points or uh, right here. Good to go, five sprays. So let's take a look at the notes for O. Oh, the top notes, we got really fresh. Um, orange flower, we got bergamot, we got lemon, and of course, a lavender. In the mid, you got a little bit of spice here. You got pepper, basil, and of course, the green vetiver. In the base, you got some woods, you got cedar wood and sandal wood, and then you got some really interesting notes of incense and leather. So guys, let's sniff out O by Paco Rabanne. Alright guys, time to sniff out O by Paco Rabanne. I'm going to let you guys know what this fragrance smells like from top to bottom. So let's sniff her out, see what I get from the top here. And really, um, really authentic, um, really citrusy, green, airy. Right off the bat, what hits my nose is that citrusy start. There's a tinge of lavender kind of backing it up, kind of giving this uh, fragrance an airy feeling to it. The basil and lavender are major notes here. This will backbone this scent until the base. It has a cooling effect with, of course, the citruses that are kind of a bit sharp, and of course the greens with the floral lavender. It really reminded me of a nice, clean river running through some vegetation, basically. Really outdoorsy. Um, there's just enough lavender in here to make it work. Sometimes lavender in fragrances, especially fragrances like these, is overused. Um, Cresp did really well to blend this all together. It really has that watery, clean, airy feel to it, really meshed well. Now in the mint, the mint kind of continues the imagery of the introduction, including a light herbal 
feel, which could be a little too classic for some. I could see people being like, no, this is dated. It's a 90s, 80s scent. And funny enough, it's a 2002 scent. Um, the basil with the support of the vetiver make the mid really herbal and green. There's also a pinch of pepper in this that really makes this one slightly spicy in the mid. Really a nice mix. The lavender here will remind you of that same lavender from the original Pakuraban Puram in the 70s, but it stops there as far as being in the same family. Honestly, the lavender basil combo is a huge factor in O and really plays on that fresh airy floral that lavender does, of course, and of course that green herbal feel of basil. The vetiver comes out in the mid to give this fragrance that green, clean vetiver that you see in a lot of fragrances. Um, don't think, there's a little bit of smoke in this, but it's not from the incense, it might be from the vetiver. There's a bit of woods here also to backbone the scent. Again, just enough. It felt like the cedar and sandalwood both coming up in this mid. Now in the base, mostly a cedar base with some mossy green notes and a bit of sandalwood. I did not smell any of the incense or leather notes, sadly, because these are two notes that are always are notes that I love smelling in fragrances. Unfortunately, this is a really fresh, clean, green, herbal, floral scent. Um, I really didn't feel any incense, smoke, or leather, um, nothing at all like that. At times, this whole mid and base of this fragrance felt like something out of the 90s, more so than something from the 2000s, but blended really well by Mr. Knesp. So guys, let's get to the overview on O. Welcome to the overview on O. This is an update to the 1973 original. A fresher, cleaner scent, which keeps the lavender note from the original, but not much else. So if you love the original, it's not a guarantee that you'll love this one. They are different enough, but I would say check it out. This one's a good office scent. It's light, it's fresh, it's masculine at the same time. Crispy, clean, citrus green scent with a lavender backbone. This one did something pretty rare in the Raban house. Usually his pieces of work aren't this authentic. Most of them have like a really synthetic feel to them or a strange feel to them. This one was really authentic, well done. The citruses felt juicy. The lavender gave a beautiful airy feel instead of a synthetic lavender that kind of gives you like a cleaner like feel. The greens felt like you were in a green mossy area. Really vivid, well done. Now why would you hate this fragrance? Um, if you don't like green herbal scents, maybe stay away from this one. I'm not a green herbal scent type of guy either, like live jazz and stuff like that. Um, these green scents, they have to be really well done for me to enjoy them. This is one of those, like Roadster, really well done. Um, if you're looking for something different in the game, this is not really that much different out there, but it is also, again, well done. But that's a reason why you would hate it. Bottles. Um, this really didn't really remind me of anything. Um, I'm just going to say it did remind me of Pura by Paco Rabanne, of course, uh, the fragrance that it's a flanker of. Best time to wear this fragrance. I loved wearing this in the summer, spring, casual. You can wear this to work. Um, this can be a signature scent. I think it would really work well for them. Uh, compliment factor, sadly, was not good on this one. No compliments, no nothing out of this one. Nothing bad, nothing good. I mean, it worked really well on my skin. I just didn't get anything. So compliment factor, this is not one of those that's going to get you compliments, guys, unfortunately. My two cents on O, really an intriguing scent from the Raban house. Very authentic smelling with high-end notes. Sadly, it was discontinued by them since this is not the direction Paco Raban is going into. So this one was sadly axed from them. I'd recommend if you love nice, airy, green scents with a bit of kick, a little bit of spice to them, this one is a good one for you. Get it while you can, of course, uh, discontinued scent. This is usually my kryptonite, a green herbal scent, since I hate light herbal green scents like these, but this one was really, really well done. And uh, for me, if you do a scent really well done, I'm gonna like it. Buy, try, or pass, this is a buy for a good price, definitely. I really think that if you're looking for this type of scent, green, herbal, airy, you're looking for something that not everybody has, this is one of those, you gotta check it out. This is a definite buy for the price, depending on the price. I would probably not pay more than 60 bucks for this. So guys, this is my review on Oh, Let's get to the rating system and see how this bad boy does against the rest. Thanks for watching, YouTube. All right, guys, time to rate O oh by Paco Rabanne Projection. This one's fairly light on my skin. It's going to get five bottles out of ten. Or really, this is mostly a skin scent on me. Longevity, again, another five bottles out of ten. Fairly light. I mean, you're going to get four to six hours any given wearing with this one. 
versatility the score goes a little higher here of course nine bottles out of ten i really think this is a great versatile scent i really think this can be a signature scent for someone overall smell again very solid authentic um eight bottles out of ten it really surprised me actually um this is very underrated from paco raban seasons mostly summer spring and fall i would wear this i'm um, very much an under the radar gem really a solid spring summer scent for me sadly discontinued overall i'm going to give this one a solid score of an eight bottles out of ten